welcome to our uh, behind the scenes of Demon Messenger. Uh, we are here today with Ron Chamberlain, uh, who is going to be the curator and uh, of our Demon. Uh, we're going to kind of talk a little bit with Ron today and kind of, you know, some of his inspiration and uh, kind of a little bit of his background today. Um, so, uh, hope you enjoy this and, uh, and also hope you enjoy our film as well. Hey, let's talk a little bit about how we met and, um, okay. you know, um, how things kind of came about in right. the, the film here. And uh, I guess it was back around uh, 2009 we met at a uh, horror convention, uh, Monster Bash. Monster Bash. And, uh, you know, I happened to meet you and you were doing some projects there uh, for the show. And uh, obviously... Uh, we both have a huge love for the old classic films and uh, some of the great old monsters, um, and the, the show was a lot of fun. So, I, and how many years were you with Monster Bash? Uh, at least twelve years. I've been creating monsters for Monster Bash, all the classic monsters. Yeah, at least twelve. Okay, and then I, I think uh, was it that year you actually got a Forey Award? A Forey Ackerman Award. Yeah, that was a real honor to get a Forey Award for, for creating. 12, 13 years of monsters for the show is a good thing. They judge you on um, how much creativity you, you put towards the show. You know, there, there's people that do photography there that film nothing but, you know, shots of the fans. There's people that do uh, interviews with stars, celebrities, and they do it for so many years and they're devoted to the show and they give them an award for this. And me creating all the Universal Monsters, you know, Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman, they gave me a Forey Ackerman Award. Forey Ackerman, by the way, is the one who created a magazine called Famous Monsters Magazine, which started it all. I mean, he had the first horror magazine out there devoted to horror fans with the classics. And he had, you know, makeup shots of Jack Pierce, who created all the Universal Monsters. And that, I, I went nuts when it came out and started collecting it, and I think I still have almost every issue. <laughs> wow, that's great. I think you even have, what, the number two issue? Number two I have, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so anyway, so we met there at the show, and I... Uh, kind of tracked you down into uh, New Jersey after we had met at right. the show and uh, we had talked about uh, a project you know that uh, we wanted to do and it was based on a concept um, that I had heard from an old Indian tribe that existed here in uh, where I live here in Great Bend Pennsylvania and actually the tribe no longer existed uh, they were really wiped out very early and one of the things that I found very fascinating about the Indian tribe was they actually had a demon spirit that they truly believed would protect the people of their tribe. And uh, I thought it was really kind of a cool and new concept, um, something that's, you know, not being remade like they're doing in Hollywood today. Uh, all they do is kind of keep remaking and remaking. This is a fresh new concept. Um, and then I kind of pitched the uh, story to you and... Um, you know, you came up with really some great, uh, really some sketches, great sketches yeah. and yeah. designs for the creature, um, and which was really amazing because you kind of just kind of went off of what I was kind of telling you. Right. And um, so, what do you feel was some of the inspiration that kind of came up with that drawing? I mean, what kind of led you to the sketch that you kind of put together? What I know we obviously talked about it, right. you know, but. Did you actually pull a vision in your mind as I was kind of pitching the story to you? Is that kind of how you came yeah, about what the creature would look like? That's kind of how I work. You pitch the idea to me. Okay, of course it's a demon, so I pictured, you know, the big uh, cat-like eyes and the, and, the, and the big, you know, gray complexion with the demon look about him, big teeth, you know, and uh, of course a big, a big character, a big muscle character, you know, with a lot of hair in places and... I had a, yeah, I had a vision where I wanted the creature to look like, and I started sketching, and like I showed you, I think three or four sketches, and right. we approved one, and I think we're right, we're right there now where we need to be as far as the design of the creature. Okay, you know it's really uh, a really challenging process, isn't it? Uh, uh, people just don't realize what, what people go through, and maybe you can kind of talk a little bit about the process and some of the materials and, and like sure. what actually happens in that process. God knows, I I sat there in a chair long enough, but uh, it's kind of fun to actually hear it from the man himself who does it. Well, the way it works is uh, once the script is breaking down, I get the script, I break it down, see what's involved. You know, of course, a demon character in this case. And what we do is we would make a life cast of the actor who's playing the demon. And from there I would sculpt what the demon looks like from my sketches. And uh, of course molds are made, two-piece molds. And we use foam rubber, which is injected into the mold and baked. And then you would have a full rubber appliance that we paint up and make it look realistic. And same thing with dentures, we'd take a cast of your teeth 
and make the dentures how we want them to look and they would fit your mouth perfectly for the creature so when you snarl or when you growl it all moves like realistic you know this layer of, the layer of foam that we put on is like a second layer of skin so it all moves like a realistic creature so it's time consuming yeah definitely isn't it you know, Ron, uh, again, I appreciate you being with us today, and we're going to be in your great. shop on a couple That's of great. feature Looking segments there, and we're going to rock and roll. We're going to show these people what it's like to make a creature. Sounds good.